We're going to be breaking down the footage to reveal Will Smith's secret double life. That's next. As you all know, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the 2022 Oscars after making a G.I. Jane joke about Will Smith's entanglement partner, Jada. Tanglement. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> what Will did created public outrage, not just because he assaulted Chris Rock on stage in front of the world, but also because of who we thought Will Smith was. Will Smith spent decades creating a public persona that he's the world's most perfect man. However, when Will Smith shattered that perfect man image, it made us all wonder, who actually is Will Smith? Our family has been uh, pretty secretive. So we're gonna piece together the evidence and break down body language to finally reveal the true Will Smith he was trying to hide from you all along. Now, let's get started. As the yin to every yang, I watched him beat up my mother. Yeah. So the biggest emotional scar that I have in this lifetime, he delivered that also. My father had a little bit of a temper. He was so smart. Happiness is peace, it's not pleasure. Yeah. And then when he would get angry, he would turn into the dumbest person I've ever met. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Kid, I couldn't understand it, but all of his wisdom disappeared. Keep my wife's name. Because of my experience of seeing Daddy-O punch my mother. Will Smith apparently had an abusive father, and during those valuable, impressionable years, Will Smith apparently had a very bad role model in how to manage and handle anger. Now listen to what he says here. See what you think, and then we'll break it down. I knew that my kids would never see me do anything violent towards their mothers. Right. But in the first couple of years of Trey's life, because Cherie and I were divorced, I think my desire to never have my son see me in that way made me more absent. Right, when he says, I don't want my kids to see me in that way, he doesn't mention the negative impact that violence would have on the women that would be receiving his violence. What's also really shocking about that statement too is that Will Smith apparently felt that his violence was possibly so out of control that he had to not see his child in the fear that he really thought he was going to harm the mother of his child. His secretive anger and rage seems to be sometimes outside of his control. Let's keep watching. My desire for her was overriding her, her desire, desire for, for her. her. Yeah, right? And I had a real epiphany on that and how bad a person will hate you if you keep forcing yeah. your wishes onto their life. Generally, family members use other family members, specifically a parent using children, is really to boost their public image and feel better about themselves because they view their child as an extension of them. And as we saw with Will, in regard to Willow, her career success he viewed as his own success. It's because part of that perfect man facade that Will Smith was desperately trying to convince you of and create for you to have that illusion of was that not only was he successful, but also all of his kids are massively, wildly successful too. Yeah, here's the problem with letting your kids talk, Oprah. <laughs> with Trey with his, with his football and Willow is singing and uh, Jaden acting, I just want them to live in service to greatness. People who create these facades to get other people to believe that they are something when really they're just not and they just really care so much about what other people think, you guessed it, are incredibly insecure. She introduced me, it feels so weird when I say this. Now, what do you think about this part? She introduced me to feelings. Yeah. Because I don't care how I feel. Right. So if I don't care how I feel, I damn sure don't care how you feel. Right. We gotta achieve the mission. We need a number one record. Yes, lack of feelings and emotion. And the fact that feelings are just so foreign to Will Smith, it seems to indicate some possible antisocial personality disorder, such as sociopathy and psychopathy. I got the, oh my God. Now Will Smith is in Moscow and he's trying to promote one of his Men in Black movies. This Ukrainian TV reporter tries to get a little close to Will Smith, giving him a little kissy kiss on both sides. Will Smith doesn't like that. 
apparently, and notice what happens. Yes, Will Smith is quick to give this TV reporter a backhanded slap. Our body language and our actions and how we move and what we do is very similar to our lexicon or our vocabulary. What we're seeing here is that this, to Will Smith, comes very, very quickly. Also keep in mind, this is a very public event. All the cameras and TV reporters, everyone's gonna see this. And he still felt that comfortable to do that to a stranger, no less, with all those cameras there. That says a lot about how quick this comes for Will Smith. Now let's keep watching and notice what Will Smith says here. Come on, man, what the hell is your problem, buddy? Right. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry, you just kissed me in my mouth. He's joking, he's lucky I ain't sucker punching. Oh, sorry, I said that on camera. <laughs> So first of all, Will Smith embellishes that because the guy didn't seem like he was actually kissing him in his mouth. He was kissing him on the cheek. He's joking, he's lucky I ain't sucker punching. Okay. Then Will Smith even further starts talking about sucker punching the guy. Oh, no, sorry, I said that on camera. <laughs> but then right when he said it, he seemed to realize that he became a little too emotional and started saying things that he doesn't want you to see because that's not what the perfect man does is sucker punch people. <laughs> then he laughs to try to cover it up and try to make it as a joke. Tell me about the old man. What's he, what's he really like? Now in 2011, Jada is being interviewed by Piers Morgan. And Will Smith is behind the scenes backstage and listening in to everything that's being said. Now watch for her body language and see what you think of when she's asked about the real Will Smith. Let's watch. Just like Can't you. be as nice as the guy I just met. Oh no, he Gotta is. Gotta be a dark, sinister side to Will Smith. We just you know what? Yet. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's know. what's crazy. It's not. Yes, major incongruent body language cluster right there. First, she looks up and thought quite a bit actually. When asked whether Will Smith has a dark sinister side, she had to actually think about it. She looks up and is like, you know what? And then she gives a quick lips pursed expression indicating that she's holding back something. And then when she has to open her lips to say words, it reveals that her teeth are clenched tightly indicating a few things. First, it indicates that she's trying to hold back something. She can't fully keep her mouth open and just freely speak. She's holding back something. You know what? It's also, her teeth clenched in this situation, context, and cluster indicate that she's angry at him. But what could she possibly be angry at? Yeah, probably because she has to deal with hearing the world talk about Will Smith as being perfect in every single way. When in reality, behind closed doors, it's nothing like that. If that was your spouse, you'd kind of be angered by that. You may not want to say it because you'll get your husband in trouble and it will cause, you know, all of his dreams to be crushed because, you know, he's trying to make this perfect image. But it's going to come across in your subconscious body language that he's not at all perfect. And you know what? He's not at all the guy that you think he is. Remember, body language is all about situation, context, and cluster. If they're not taking into account and breaking down situation, context, and cluster, they're not reading body language. They're just being idiots. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's crazy. It's not. Yes, in this situation, context, and cluster, given what has just happened before, in that situation, context, and cluster, moving on here, it does seem that she is trying to convince and not just convey by constantly saying it over and over and over. That's what's crazy, it's not. <laughs> That's what's crazy, it's not. And also at that very moment when she's laughing and trying to convince and not just convey by saying it over and over and over, she also looks up to the ceiling, in effect, kind of rolling her eyes at how everyone just says how perfect he is, how perfect he is. That's what's funny, it's not. It's her subconscious feelings manifesting in her body language that is causing her to do that there. You look at Will Smith and you think, fantastic actor, lovely guy, blokes love him, women love him, yeah. everybody loves him, and now we've got to deal with the fact he's good in bed as well. Yeah. This is just, a, it's a charge sheet. Now watch for Jada's body language here. We're gonna then rewind it and break it down. You being really critical, come on. Yeah, clearly she does not want to say anything. She is just like, my lips are shut. I don't want to get in trouble with him. He's right behind stage. He's right there. There's no way I am going to say anything. 
<laughs> with those lips so tightly pursed and that duping smile on her face saying, I know something, but I'm not going to say. Really critical. Kevin, he's sneaking in the room right now. <laughs> and Will Smith is behind stage trying to, you know, make his presence known, trying to show, hey, I'm here, honey. Don't try to embarrass me. Don't try to pop the bubble of perfect man image. <laughs> Let's try and dwell on a fault. One fault. He's a workaholic. Is that a fault? It can be at times, but it's not like a crushing fault. Mm. When she says he's a workaholic and he's not a crushing fault, she gives a very sly look with her eyes looking to the side as well as an asymmetrical smirk. When we're being deceitful, we'll sometimes shield our body a little bit away from the person we're deceiving. The reason why is because we feel insecure in presenting our full self. Can you guess why? When you're showing your full self, you're more honest. But when you start to shield a little bit, you're being a little more deceptive. Obviously not every time someone lies, they'll shield. They may, but it's not 100%. Someone could just very easily just maybe be a little more insecure about what they're saying. Not necessarily a lie, but just a little more insecure. And then they may shield a little bit. It's the same thing like this. This could be lying, but you have to look at situation, context, and cluster to determine if this is in fact lying. If all of a sudden someone starts saying something where we suspect that they're lying and then they all of a sudden do this at that very moment, then they may be lying. Now we're gonna keep watching, see what you think. But you said one thing, I gave you one. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you ever, I gave you do one. Do you ever have arguments? Do you ever scream at oh, each other? No, we don't scream at each other. Oh, the, do we, you have we, rules? We, yeah, we, we cut that in the beginning because <laughs> <laughs> we're both very passionate people. So we knew we wouldn't survive screaming at each other. Yes, when she says survive, she says it with great emphasis. And it's also quite physical too. I mean, survive. I mean, it's not like, oh, well, our marriage won't survive. No, survive. Like she actually means when referring to something very physical. And also at that very moment, she adjusts herself. And when she's saying survive, indicating some discomfort of talking about that based on what we saw before and what we're seeing now and how she emphasized survive as well as adjusting herself at that very moment indicates quite discomfort with the idea that they could be screaming at each other. It doesn't seem like it would only be words. It seems like what she's implying could be also some physicality as well. Let's keep watching. She's like, Will, would you shut the f up? Ooh. With Trey sitting on my lap. I Damn. remember that. Right? And now, do you think Will Smith will handle that situation like a big boy with his words, or do you think he'll use physicality like a child? Let's watch and we'll break it down. I grabbed a newspaper and I said, Bah! <laughs> Can I talk to you in the other room, please? Oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, right? Did this joker just hit me on my head with a newspaper? <laughs> I'm a dog. Of course, getting smacked with a newspaper isn't going to cause injury, but it says a lot about how quick and comfortable Will Smith is using physicality. Also keep in mind, this is just the story that Will Smith is open to discussing publicly. So there really could be a lot worse behind closed doors. I grew up in a household where I watched my father punch my mother in the face. Damn. And I will not create a house, a space, an interaction with a person where there's profanity and violence. Mm. That's right, Will Smith actually told her that he doesn't want violence in the house right after using violence in the house. <laughs> she was like, well, you're not gonna be hitting me in my head. <laughs> yes, hypocrisy is very common of a narcissist because they are so self-centered, they fail to view their actions from the lens of other people. She was like, well, you're not gonna be hitting me in my head. <laughs> Will could not see how he was being blatantly hypocritical by smacking her head with a newspaper, then right after that saying he doesn't want violence in the house. And I had a public perception had the public that perception I wanted to project of, of our relationship, mm -hmm. of the family and what my kids are and what my wife is and what we are yeah. in the world. I learned how to look fixed to yeah. the world. Right, right. Will right. Smith is a character, yep. yeah. right? But deep down inside, I was an insecure little boy that wanted Jada to say I was great. Yes, Will has a lack of self-esteem and therefore needs validation from Jada to feel worthy as a man. And if she didn't say I was great, the dragon came out. Yeah. yeah. 
as I said in the body language breakdown of the slap. Will initially thought the G.I. Jane joke was funny, but when he saw that Jada was angry at something that he was laughing at, Will seemed to have become worried that Jada was not gonna think that he was great anymore. So what it seems like, in his own words, that's when the dragon came out. And if she didn't say I was great, <laughs> the dragon came out. Yeah. And he went up on stage to prove to Jada that little Willie is worthy of her. Hollywood is actually full of the most insecure people in the entire world. It is because of the overwhelming fear that they are worthless is what drives them to achieve massive public success, which is to prove to themselves and the world that they are worthwhile. Also keep in mind about that incident too. If it wasn't Chris Rock that was up there and it was The Rock, <laughs> do you think Will Smith would have walked up on stage to slap The Hello, Rock? Entertainment. Will Smith is a coward. Will Smith apparently only picks on people that are smaller and weaker than he is. <laughs> to this day I know I was crushed because it was true. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a party for her. Yeah. Now pay attention to what he says, see what you think, and then we'll break it down. I snapped in front of Willow. It was the only time in her childhood she ever saw me snap, and I saw her look. Yes, he speaks of snapping as a very covert and massive thing that is very different than his public persona, which that snapping is something we all got a glimpse of at the 2022 Oscars. I snapped. I snapped. Also, did you notice the caveat that Will put in there? Watch again. In front of Willow was the only time in her childhood she ever saw me snap. And based on how he's casually talking about it with his family, it seems to be quite commonplace at home, which that snapping appears to be something that he tries to hide from you. Our family has been uh, pretty secretive. How are you, doing? How are you sir? All right, all right. I'm very right. pleasure. See you, sir. God all bless. Right. God bless. Beautiful family you got Thank there. you very much. And a gorgeous wife. Thank you. God. Did he just say gorgeous? Yo, man, that's my wife. You think I don't know what that means? You think I don't speak code, freak code? That was a freak code he was using. You know. Love each other through what? And it's not because we just saying it. It's because we've cracked each other's heads hey, yeah. wide open. <laughs> now Will uses very specific violent imagery while using the thumb pressed against the finger gesture to describe their relationship strife. We've cracked each other's heads hey, yeah. wide open. <laughs> that gesture indicates specificity. Therefore, this seems to indicate that Will closely ties physical violence with his marriage to Jada. Do you have a fight? Now watch this part, specifically look for diversion and we'll break it down. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's a, th it's a it's What the really hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's, exactly, because it's such a terrible. <laughs> yes, Will quickly diverts by trying to create audience laughter and also to break that frame. Have you ever tried to be angry at somebody who's making you laugh? Right, it's nearly impossible to be angry at the person. Your frame may be, I'm serious about this. The other person's frame is, don't be serious about that, it's funny, uh, just laugh. Okay? But if you laugh, you broke frame, and you're in their frame. What it's the really, hell is that supposed to mean? It's, <laughs> exactly, because it's such a terrible... <laughs> the frame here from the interviewer is a very serious question. You guys seem like a happy couple. You're a supposedly perfect couple of Hollywood. Do you ever fight? And then Will, trying to escape that, tries to break frame by diverting with laughter. <laughs> when you have an audience there that's able to create public consensus by laughing, which is diverting and breaking the interviewer's frame, you're able to skate away from that type of question a little bit easier. Will Smith uses comedy a lot to deflect and divert away from his true self. He actually was thinking about running for president. He definitely has presidential qualities. Wow, dude. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Why does he have the name Captain Correction? Right here, notice their authentically surprised body language, as well as what Will Smith does, again to divert. Watch. How do you know about that? That's good information. Yeah, you must have men yeah, in black yeah, working for you. <laughs> That's true. Captain Correction. That. Captain Correction. Right. This is self-comfort, by the way, in that situation, context, and cluster. How did you know that everything wasn't perfect with us? How did you find out? Oh, 
How do you know about that? That's good information. Yeah, you must have men yeah. in black. And their massive surprise indicates that this is a secret about Will's true personality that they never wanted to get out. Secretive. When someone says a, a word incorrectly, around me, I'd say, no, no, that's not. You have to say it like this. No, no it's so not. So like, like, like yesterday, like when that you- that was wrong, see? No, I'm yes. <laughs> Will diverts again by making a joke and breaking frame, making it more lighthearted and get everyone to laugh, like, oh, yeah, it's just a joke. Oh, people just remember that he just made them laugh. There's actually a fault that's coming out. Clearly, there's more than just being Captain Correction. Smith became a real-life Jekyll and Hyde. I'd be walking around and he'd hurl some insult. At, you know, I, I just kept it in. I went, what am I gonna do? Will Smith says, you better be careful. You're far away from anyone who likes you. I go, where does that come from? I mean, what do you mean I'm far away? He goes, ain't no Mexicans here in Africa. I said, what? Yeah, there's apparently a little bit of that kind of Ellen type attitude that we saw with Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, that's also similar with Will Smith. What goes on behind the scenes is a far cry from what the show represents in their be kind messaging. It's World Kindness Day. Since I preach kindness every day, this is a big one for me. This is like my Super Bowl. And what Ellen DeGeneres herself profits off of. Be kind Ellen box. Be kind candle. Mmm, smells like kindness. Be sure to get your be kind box. Culture of fear and intimidation. What it was like working for Ellen DeGeneres. Toxic, phony, hypocrite, liar. That's what she is. If you recall, she wasn't the perfect, happy little person that she tried to make everyone believe very similar with will smith he's not the perfect man that he made many people believe that he was for so many years rodriguez even kept a diary of the traumatic experience the insults just continue uh, that that look that after he uh, hit uh, that, that look of impunity and i'm saying to myself i it went from one of the happiest moments of my life to a horrible situation it's just one big happy family. When I'm at school sometimes, my dad will just pull his pants down. Hey! They got rules, like he has a rule. The bass player, he got a rule. He got to wax his head every morning. That's a rule. <laughs> he follows the rules, man. He follows the rules. Oh, these are jokes, come on. <laughs> right here, this seems to prove that Will Smith seems to be a hypocrite. It's okay for him to make maybe an offensive type joke, but if anyone else makes the offensive type joke against him, oh man. <laughs> He'll go up on stage and give you a slappy slap. I started getting all these mail from the, the gay activists and stuff like that. They, they was telling me, you know, you always talking about gay people and you know, all this. And I was like, it's just a joke, you know, and I, I just want to apologize to any of, those, any of the gays that were offended, you know. Because I, I was just joking, really, from the bottom of my heart. I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> look of love that I was looking at right there between you and your husband. I love it. I need to rub a little bit of that. Now see what you think of this look of love that this reporter is just so envious of. Hey, that's what 20 years will get you. Hey, really? I know, I know who, I know who's here. After 20 tonight. years, she knows your scent. I know the touch, <laughs> I know the scent, I know the energy, everything. Yes, it seems that Will Smith was playing up the perfect man character to you because it was apparently helping him gain money and fame. And there certainly seems to be a dark side of Will Smith that he surely didn't want you to see. That's until he snapped <laughs> in front of the whole world, apparently revealing that he was living a double life. Now in the comments, what would you have done if Will Smith tried to slap you? Would you try to elbow him? Would you maybe trip him, roundhouse kick him? Let everyone know in the comments below. We have a podcast where we talk about these issues in conversational depth. So if you're not subscribed to the podcast, you may wanna do that. We are everywhere you get your podcasts, including Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, you can watch the show on YouTube or everywhere you get your podcasts. Hit the subscribe button now because we don't want you to miss out on new body language and investigative videos that always seem to shake up YouTube. See you at the top.